Okay, welcome back. Let's talk items. Let's talk randomized items. Uh, this is actually not going to be another video about um, the awesome stuff you can do with armor stands. In fact, this video has nothing to do with mythic mobs at all. Um, it's about randomized items I created via the script plugin. <clears throat> and that's a totally different story. And this armor stand is only here to serve one purpose. Because if I right click on it, it will generate an item for me. Which is fully randomized. Uh, it's not done yet. Uh, so excuse me for showing you something incomplete. Uh, but what it has is randomized names, randomized enchantments. Uh, as you can see, including custom enchantments. And randomized item lore stats which also all are uh, of a randomized amount so uh, it could be just two different stats like here and it can go all the way up to five different stats currently uh, but there's only a pool of five different stats at the moment anyway but uh, that's not what, not what this is about mainly um, this is mainly about the names and I, I kind of challenge myself to look at some of these items and try not to laugh because d during the the time I've been working on this and I've been testing item names I've been continuously pretty much pissing my pants laughing because these are partially hilarious so let's see if we can get some good ones um, just click this really really often and see what we get <clears throat> so I want to try to explain how these names are generated <coughs> excuse me while we look up these um, I, I have a bunch of files uh, which basically contain well different different strings so um, the first file would be the file containing different adjectives uh, like you can see here the uh, string painful would be in that file and there's a file called nouns there's also one called names which includes unique names and one called uh, titles and there's also some additional files for uh, variations of weapon names for instance here you can see blade which is a variation for, for the sword right and the mason here would be a title so it's generating items by drawing uh, it's generating the names excuse me it's generating the names by drawing uh, from these pools, from these files, and putting it in random patterns. Currently there's 13 different name patterns that I provided for the uh, script to work with. And this would be a very simple one. This is just two nouns. And this is uh, a title plus adjective plus weapon name. And if we go on... Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Um, this would be a unique name uh, which was generated from a uh, fantasy name generator uh, adjective and then again the weapon or tool name in this case kind of the same here oh. these are stupid well uh, I'm pretty fond of the results um, the name generation is pretty solid uh, there's only some cases uh, where the names really don't make sense. It, it's quite rare, uh, but in most cases the names are sound, uh, like they make sense, and they can either be they, they can really sound like really badass, like uh, this one I guess not totally badass, but it, it's kind of neutral. Oh, this one is all right, I guess. Um, yeah, this would be something you would see in uh, Diablo 2, right here. This is this is just this is just pure pure comedy to me, uh, to be honest. Well, and some of these are just either uh, a bit funny or hilarious. Um, but they, they work out pretty well. They work pretty well. The system is sound. And uh, I'm gonna show you something else in a second. The Bang Sun. Why not? And my my current favorite that I've had in this I've seen in the beginning of the development of this was uh, 
The Sword of the Serious Imperator. That was the best. That was the absolute best. Uh, so yeah, we got all these random names here. Nothing really funny so far. Uh, well, this is kind of good. I had a lot better ones previously. So let's just clear this out and try again. Get a bunch of items. Now, obviously, there's way more to this than just the names, but uh, that's gonna be covered another time. Shaftrot, the experience. Now, that's just dirty. Kids, look away. No, you don't get it anyway. Um. Yeah. This is kind of great. And, well, the obvious advantages of a system like this, rather than, uh, you know, providing fixed names for items, is that you get a lot of combinations. Like, none of these items are even remotely alike. Flesh unit. Oh my god, flowing flesh. <laughs> Fuck. Um, none of these are remotely alike. They're all unique. They're unique names. And that's gonna make getting a unique drop from killing a mob or finding it in a in a dungeon chest, I guess, so much better. Which is what this uh, add-on, this script is gonna be capable of. I'm gonna put it on the spigot of the orc when it's done. And uh, oh, these are great. These are great. Th this is uh, what was it? The flesh universe. This I can't lose this. <laughs> okay, but let's try uh, one more time. Get a bunch of items, and then we should be done for it. There we go. Bang warp the faults. Flawed archers pickaxe. Tainted General. Mm -hmm. Tainted Gore Skull. That's, well, that's a badass one. It sure is. Inflicting E. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Um. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this. And I hope you guys will as well once this is done. Anyway, uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope you found this interesting, and uh, I hope you can soon get your hands on this once this is done. There's a lot more to put into here, um, like a bunch of more custom enchantments. Right here, the Decapitator, for instance, is a very, very common one, uh, like suggested on the uh, Reddit sub for Minecraft suggestions. Um, what this is doing is... Uh, it's giving you like a, I think I said it to one percent chance when you kill a player that it, the player will drop its head for you as loot. Uh, Scorching Edge is converting mined uh, wood logs of any kind to charcoal. Stuff like that. The Curse of Persistence means that you can't enchant this item nor rename it or edit it in any way, uh, which is on every item right now for. Uh, yeah, uh, deaf version reasons, I guess. Uh, Midas' Touch is uh, something that was covered in a previous video where I did it over Mythic Mobs, which was actually way easier to do over script, naturally. And, yeah, there's a bunch more. And you got the item lore stats, and, uh, yeah, all, all kinds of good stuff. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you around. Bye-bye.